My name is Travis Jaquis. I'm a fourth year PhD student from the University of Mississippi in the Department of History. I'm a stay-at-home dad. I'm also a full-time student, but my main job is to look after my two children. And I look around and I see more and more of my friends doing the same thing, fathers being the primary caregivers in their home. And I wondered, how did this happen? How did such a short amount of time fatherhood change so dramatically in our culture? My exploration brought me to a surprising place. It brought me to the American Revolution. I study fatherhood in the 18th century. I explore how our founding fathers conceptualized their role as actual fathers and understand how the ideals bound up in the American Revolution impacted masculinity, the home, and ultimately fatherhood. The American Revolution gave fathers a unique opportunity who have otherwise would have taught their children in the privacy of their own home to write to them and explain to them how to grow up to be men and women in a republic. It not only changed how they communicated, but what they communicated. Fathers could no longer simply order their children to comply. The ideals in the American Revolution, such as liberty, equality, and personal freedoms had spread throughout American culture. Fathers now had to coax their children and gently and tenderly and affectionately mold their children into the men and women they wanted them to become. And it's this process that set fathers on the path to the more balanced family system that we have today. One of the best examples of how Republican teaching infiltrated the home can be seen in these prodigal son lithographs that appeared in many homes in the 18th century. Here, we can see the father allowing his son to test his freedom and not restraining his son. Here, we see the son living in excess and committing many of the vices that fathers taught their sons to avoid, such as gambling, drinking, carousing with women. Then, we see the consequences of those vices, which is a life of misery and public shame. Finally, the son returns home and is reclaimed by the father. The African slave, pictured here, brings the boy new clothes to signify his reinstatement in the family and his former class. This is just one of many examples of how Republican ideals infiltrated the home and informed how fathers communicated with their children. Thank you.